Life of a transporter. Quarter to four in the morning. Everything's back on. Except for the fan blade. Belt. And they put the shroud back on. Hook up the last two lines. Fill it with coolant. Put the air breather line back in so the mass airflow sensor will allow it to run. And put it on finish mode. Run it for a few minutes, bleed the air out of the system, and I'm shagging it for the house. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was once I figured out it wasn't a reverse thread freaking fan. That kind of cheesed me off a little bit, but what do you do? Just going off of previous knowledge on my Duramax that it was reverse threaded. So I sit there and beat on it, and beat on it, and beat on it with an air chisel and to no avail, it didn't come loose. Even with map gas, yes, imagine that, it didn't come loose, but I know why. Because it wasn't reverse thread. Oh well. Hopefully it didn't mess the dang nut up too bad and knock it out of balance and wipe the bearing back out of that water pump. That suck. But it should have a lifetime warranty. It's Napa. So, anyway, that's step two of placing a water pump. Back together. All the bolts are anti seeds this time. I had a fit with a couple of them. I thought I was going to turn the heads off them, which would have really, really sucked. I don't know what the torque specs are on it. I didn't look it up. I just did the old Vietti torque specs. Tighten her down until it feels tight and give her another little bump and call it good. As long as you don't hear no crack, you're good. You hear that crack, it's all over. That aluminum broke, you're screwed. But we got lucky. Nothing's broke yet. Time to throw a belt on here. Throw the fan blade on, throw the fan shroud on, and fill it full of coin. One more little segment to go, and that'll be finished. Life of a day in the life of a transporter. Can't even talk straight, I'm so tired. Why I do this stuff, I don't know, but I guess I do. I got extra set of dexter axles 10k axles stored here free of charge had a camper stored here for about five years free of charge oh, i had my little pickup here my boat here all kinds of stuff here had my camper big camper here last year for about two months plugged into the wall there we ran a 30 amp receptacle out so i had power oh uh, me and the wife were on differences but, good things come to those who wait, and persistence pays off. Prove to them you love them. Make sure you make time for them, which I don't do a whole lot because I'm always on the road. And then, nights like this, when I try to help out a friend, she don't like it too well, but it is what it is. I can't change life so anyways i'll see y'all here in a few It'll be time lapse fast forward to the next step